This is a walkthrough of problem four on exam two of module one in the book Problem Solving Guide for Mechanics and Thermodynamics. Problem four, you went to a drag race in which the race cars start from rest, register that in your brain, start from rest, race a quarter mile. You took a photograph that showed the car a distance of three fourths of the way between the starting line and the finish. After traveling three fourths of a quarter mile, which is three sixteenths of a mile, the timer in the picture indicated that the time elapsed since the start of the race was 4.601 seconds. Assuming constant acceleration, what is the time in which the car finished the quarter mile? Give your answer to three significant digits. Let's start with a diagram. Here's our diagram. Let's think about what's going on. Starts from rest. Accelerates uniformly, speeding up all the time. Three-fourths of the way to the finish line. 4.601 seconds has elapsed. The car continues to accelerate. What's the time it takes to finish the quarter mile? So the car started from rest. We can get the acceleration. We know the distance, three-fourths of a quarter mile, which is three-sixteenths of a mile. We know the time, 4.601 seconds, and we know the initial speed is zero. We can substitute in these numbers. There's 3 sixteenths of a mile, 0.1875 miles, so we can solve for the acceleration. 0.0177 miles per second, every second. The change is, speed is changing by 0.0177 miles per second each second. It's a strange unit of acceleration, not very intuitive. We can use it nonetheless. So now we're going to use the same equation we did before, but we're going to do it for the entire race because we now have the acceleration. We don't have the time. We know the distance is a quarter mile. We know the acceleration. We want to solve for the time. The initial speed is zero. This is for the entire quarter mile. For the entire race, the distance is a quarter mile. The acceleration is the same as we are assuming. And we can solve for t. 5.31 seconds to three significant digits, which is not much more than 4.6. But the drag race car is going so much faster the last quarter mile, last fourth of the race than the first fourth of the race. So the time it takes to get from three fourths to the finish line is much, much less than the time it takes to go the first fourth of the race. So let's get the speeds. What's the speed of the car in miles per hour at the finish line? How about three-fourths of the way through the race? At the finish line, V final equals V initial plus AT. We know the initial speed is zero. We have the acceleration, we have the time, and we can get the speed, 0.094 miles per second. What the heck is that? Well, let's convert to miles per hour. It's about 339. Fast. Three-fourths of the way through the race, use the same equation but a different time, it's going 0 0.0814 miles per second, which is 293 miles per hour. So here it's going 293, at the finish line it's going 339. The speed doesn't change that much because the time is so short. That's problem four on exam two of module one.